All right, in this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to use Packet Tracer to simulate a very simple network. So the network's going to have uh, two separate subnetworks connected with a switch and a router between the two, obviously, to make everything hook up. So we're going to use Packet Tracer here and go through and kind of set that up. First thing is let's go ahead and add some, pro some end devices here. So I'm going to add a couple PCs. And add two more over here. All right, let's go ahead and add a switch to connect the PCs for our first network over there and add the same switch over here. And then in order to connect all of these together, we need to have a router. So we're gonna kind of put a router up here. And then now this is all of the devices. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect everything together. So using the connection tab, let's go over here to the copper straight through and go ahead and select that. Click here, select fast ethernet zero for that PC. Hook it to the switch and do that again for the second PC, fast ethernet, hook it to the switch. All right, and then we do that two more times for our PCs on our second network. And each time you do it, you just wanna make sure you pick uh, a fast ethernet port that's not being used, which is easy because they're not showed if they're in use. All right, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and hook our two networks together. So we're going to connect our switches to our router and we're gonna use gigabit ethernet for this one. So we'll pick our gigabit ethernet port there and do the same thing on this side and connect it that way. Now you can kind of see right away that we have some green here between the switch and our PC. So that looks promising, but we have some red warnings here letting us know the traffic isn't set up correctly. And that's because we haven't configured the router. If you look over and hover over the router, you can kind of see that we do have our links there, but they're all status of down right now, and we don't have an IP address. So here is where we need to set up our default gateway for the, both networks so that we can attach the default gateway to our PCs so the traffic will get out of our network. All right, the way we do that is we're going to come in here, go to the router, click on client, and we are going to then run through the iOS commands here. No, we do not want to use the initial configuration dialog. Hit enter. We are now in user mode. So we're now going to type in enable. That'll put us in privilege mode. And then now that we're in privilege mode, we can now start configuring, configuring everything. So we're gonna go into configure terminal. And now we have to, once we're in the configuration, for the uh, configuration area, we can then go into the interface or port and can hook up an IP address to it. So we have to type in interface followed by the name of the interface, which in our case is G0, zero slash zero. Hit enter. And now you can kind of see the prompt change to let us know we're in interface mode. Let's go ahead and add an IP address to this interface. And the address that we're going to use here is 192.168.1.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.0. Okay, so that's going to be our that's going to be our default gateway for our first network. Uh, network 192.168.1 will be the network. Hit enter. Now we type in no no shutdown, which will configure it and change the state of that of that link to up, and we'll see that in a moment. All right, so that first link is set up. Now let's do the exact same thing for the second one. So we want to exit out of this interface and we want to go back in as interface G0 slash one and put an IP address on there. 192.168.2. Now this is going to be network two. Same subnet mask for that. Hit enter, no doubt, no uh, shutdown. And now they are both up. So if we close this dialog 
we'll now see that both of our links here between the router and the switches show green. If you hover over the router, we can see that we have both we have both router links as up and they each have an IP address. All right, last step is we have to go to each one of the PCs and we have to configure the, the IP address for the PC and we have to configure the default gateway. So click on the PC, click on desktop, go to IP configuration, and let's give the, this PC an IP address, 192.168.1.10. And let's go ahead and give it, now here's where we have to give the default gateway for that network, which is gonna be 192.168.1.1. That's what the IP address we added onto the, to the router. And this will allow traffic out of the network. Click on that one. Let's do the same thing one more time for the second desktop. 192.168.1.11 will be the IP address. Same internet gateway. 192.168.1.1. All right. Okay. And over this one, this is our second network. Do the exact same thing, except we're going to be using uh, internet. We're going to be using network two on this one. So this is going to be 192.168.2.1, or actually should be 10. The default mass, something mass is going to be 255, 255, 255, 0. 192, 168. This is going to be 2.1. So this is the second router or the second port on that router. So this is for network two. And now we're going to do the same thing for this one here. 192.168.2.11 is the IP address. 192.168.2.1 is going to be the default gateway. All right, let's close that. All right, let's go ahead and forward the time a little bit so that we can make sure that everything's been updated. And then now let's try to see if we can send some traffic between our PCs. First thing is we're going to come up here, add simple PDU, click on it. And let's click traffic from there to this PC. And we should see a successful message there. So that's good. Let's try going from this PC all the way over to this PC. Now that failed, but that's possibly because we haven't updated everything yet. So let's go ahead and Make sure everything is updated. Let's lead everything out. Let's do a new scenario. And let's try it again. So click on here and click on that one. And you kind of see we got a successful message. Okay. So if you get a failure, that simply means you just got to, we got to roll the time forward or maybe perhaps uh, create a new scenario, like kind of start over uh, because it, it may not have all the data po populated or propagated to all the devices. So there you go. That's all you need to do to set up the network. If you have any questions, please reach out.